We now prepare ourselves for the loving presence of God. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with and your spirit. spirit. Come, Holy Spirit, fill the hearts of your faithful and enkindle in them the fire of your divine love. Send forth your spirit and they shall be created and you shall renew the face of the earth. O God, who by the light of the Holy Spirit did instruct the hearts of the faithful, grant us by the same Holy Spirit to release what is right and just and always to rejoice in His consolation through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 The Proclamation of the Gospel according to St. Matthew. Glory, Glory to you, o Lord. O Lord. When Jesus was born in Bethlehem of Judea, in the days of King Herod, behold, Magi from the east arrived in Jerusalem, saying, Where is the newborn king of the Jews? We saw his star at its rising and have come to do him homage. When King Herod heard this, he was greatly troubled, and all Jerusalem with him. Assembling all the chief priests and the scribes of the people, he inquired of them where the Christ was to be born. They said to him, In Bethlehem of Judea, for thus it has been written through the prophet. And you, Bethlehem, land of Judah, are by no means least among the rulers of Judah, since from you shall come a ruler who is to shepherd my people Israel. Then he wrote, called the Magi secretly, and ascertained from them the time of the star's appearance. He sent them to Bethlehem and said, Go and search diligently for the child. When you have found him, bring me word, that I too may go and do him homage. After their audience with the king, they set out. And behold, the star that they had seen at its rising preceded them until it came and stopped over the place where the child was. They were overjoyed at seeing the star, and on entering the house, they saw the child with Mary, his mother. They prostrated themselves and did him homage. Then they opened their treasures and offered him gifts of gold, frankincense, and myrrh. And having been warned in a dream not to return to the hero, they departed for their country by another way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus, Jesus Christ. 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 Practically, the Feast of the Epiphany or the Manifestation is the last day of Christmas. So, Merry Christmas to all of you and Happy Three Kings. Merry Christmas. Happy Three Kings. The Manifestation or the Happy Three Kings would invite us only to one none other than to leave the presence of God from today onwards and to the fulfillment of our life. So it invites us to see the presence of God in all things. And how do we see the presence of God? First, by accepting the light. The light is there. The light has shown on us. The light is Jesus Christ. So the light has shown over the kingdom, over all of us, humanity, over all each one of us, even amidst our sinfulness. And for us who accept the light, there is Jesus Christ. For us who accept the light, there is the tremendous gift of God. For us who accept the light, there is the gladness of God. And for those who have the light, they live in the presence of God. Secondly, the presence of God is seen in his words. And his word in the gospel, in the liturgy of the word, in the sacraments, and all the sacraments. That's why when we say the word of the Lord, what is your response? You say, thanks be to God. Thanks be to God because we have his presence. Thanks be to God because we have his light. Thanks be to God because his word is Jesus Christ. His word is love. And with this love, the tremendous effect again in our life, the Lord himself make word among us, makes his word among us visible. And so we accept the word of God, the word that is dear to us, the word that is dear to our heart, the word that is embodied in our whole perspective. So in the word of God, in the sacraments, especially the Eucharist, Christ is present. And when we hear the word of God proclaimed, then we 
come and thank the Lord for that because that is his presence. Thirdly, we come to accept the Lord as the king of the universe. And more than the king, the king of everything, our redeemer, our savior, and everything that we have. He is the king, a child king who is born for us, a child king who is infinitely out of everything, everything, so that when he is seen as king, we leave his presence, and his presence is among us forever. From child to his death, and his resurrection, he is our king. And we invite him as well as we explain to them and we are able to make hold of him as the king of the universe, the king of all of us. So Jesus, the king of our life, the king of all and the king of the universe is the manifestation of God's presence. So therefore we will accept him. But lastly, I would like to call our minds to the Gentiles. The manifestation is an open and dead invitation to the Gentiles. The Gentiles are the pagans. And for us to proclaim the word of God, to proclaim the presence of God, to proclaim Christ as king in the pagan nations, in the Gentile nations, so as to be able to accept the Lord, so as the Lord would become their own and so becoming, therefore, the Savior and the Savior of all mankind. So hopefully this Christmas season, we will have the presence of God. The presence of God will lead us every day in the ordinary seasons of life. In the, in the February 14, in the Lenten seasons of life, again, in the ordinary seasons that would follow and towards Easter and towards the Advent again we will see the presence of God as overwhelming. Christ is present with us and he will never leave us alone. Amen. 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 So sharing on the presence of God in your life, in the life of each one. Please go ahead, Tita Helen. Yes, uh, this, uh, short sharing now today. We celebrated our Christmas party with my CWL group, seniors, as well as the junior uh, members. And our Paris was really happy because in the Diocese of Nova so there are, there are only two um, parishes that have uh, organized the junior CWL. So... Uh, we seniors, we prepare gifts for them so that they will be inspired to to attend because we often heard them saying, oh, we don't like to see we'll go with the seniors because by a meeting, the more discussion like that. So I told my friends, na, let us join them and um, make them happy para they will be inspired because so you will be getting old talaga and they will replace us. So... um. We are happy that um, uh, the kids were uh, were also uh, excited to join because uh, there there was enough food for them and there were ruffles also and I see and uh, I since it uh, it is my I know I am the only lone celebrator of birth for the, the January so I shared that um, we are celebrating the. Feast of Epiphany, and uh, it is really um, nice to, to remember the three wise men, the mga pantas, the mga marurunong, the, na they, they are um, looking for, for God. They are very bright, and as well as they are rich, and um, that they can afford to, they afford to study because they have uh, means to pay for their studies. And then the, the the gifts that they have shared really were very very nice very meaningful and that uh, I shared that um, today it's uh, the the material things really that don't matter it is the love that we are sharing with each other the the love that we want to share to the juniors uh, members. So that they will be inspired always to 
to do their part in the Paris work. That's why um, there was a great fun this uh, morning. Amen. 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 Wow. Thank you, Tita. <laughs> they entered the manger, no? Manger, yeah, I was. They entered the house. The house. Uh -huh. So, so they were. It was not really during the birth of Jesus. Yes. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. And then ako nga, he commanded them to go to Bethlehem. He could have asked somebody or some his staff to join <laughs> in order to find Jesus if he wants really to adore him. But he left the three to go on their way, guided by the star. <laughs> The light, we see the word, we see Jesus as king, and we go to the Gentiles and proclaim him above all. I'll call you back, I'll call you back. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Father. Three kings, happy manifestation. Happy Father, bye-bye. We love you, Father. Bye-bye. I love you. you. love you more. I'll call you, Father. Three pointers for today. Three pointers for today's gospel. Number one, the wise men were genuinely seeking for the Messiah. Because of their sincerity and zeal, they were not only able to recognize that the star of Bethlehem was a divine son, but upon seeing the baby lying in a manger, they believed he was the Messiah, the King of Kings. Number two, in contrast, King Herod, who plotted to murder the Messiah, failed to understand that his strategy will never succeed because his evil powers are fighting against God's plan of salvation, which is infinitely greater. Number three, like the wise men, let us seek Jesus with sincerity and zeal in our daily lives so that the Holy Spirit will be able to help us discern God's presence and His will in all situations. Amen. 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 Thank you very much, Tita Lynn. So... <clears throat> So the lesson for today, no, it's uh, it's about the seeking, seeking God, seeking Jesus, and once we found Him, um, never ever let uh, let uh, ourselves uh, be separated from Him, but and just be patient, just like the three wise men, no. Um, once we found Him, we share to we share to our fellow men. Once we found Him, Amen. Amen. So. All together, please, for our uh, close, uh, closing prayer. Uh, please go ahead, Tita Helen. Lord God, we thank you so much for this wonderful gift of, gift of life to all of us. Please continue to bless us, guide us, and keep us uh, always safe in your loving arms. Also, I thank you for... All the people around us who are so loving and generous that they they are able to share the love that comes from you, and uh, we also remember, Lord, we will, our members who are not with us the, tonight. Uh, may you continue to bless their families and their loved ones. This we ask through Christ our Lord. Amen. 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 Thank you. And Lord. all to and all together, please. Glory be to the Father, to the Son, to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, now and ever shall be, world without end. Amen. Amen. In the name of the Father, and the Son, of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you all. Thank you very much. Thank you. Bye. I love you guys. Thank you.